The last thing that we're going to do this week is we are going to read The Remarkable Farkle McBride by John Lithgow. This is a pretty silly, funny book. Um, Farkle McBride tries out a bunch of different instruments, and this is going to be our first introduction into those instrument families. Each instrument is a part of its own little group. They all have similarities, and we're going to do a deep dive into one family a week, just so we can recognize and learn a little bit more about them. The Remarkable Farkle McBride by John Lithgow. Oh, pity the prodigy, Farkle McBride, no matter what instrument poor Farkle tried, whether strumming or blowing or drumming or bowing, his musical passions were unsatisfied. When Farkle McBride was a three-year-old tyke, all freckly, bony, and thin, he astonished his friends and his family alike by playing superb violin. Fun fact, violin has four strings, which makes it part of the string family. He went readily deedily deedily dee with all of the strings at his side. Readily deedily deedily dee, the remarkable Farkle McBride. But when he was four, Farkle played it no more in spite of his parents' beseeching. He shattered the records he used to adore. He smashed up his rosin, ripped up every score. He threw fiddle and bow to the living room floor, and he shouted, Enough of your screeching! Farkle was five, his melodical gift, once again bore rhapsodical fruit. The woodwinds, another family, inspired his spirits to lift, and he rapidly mastered the flute. He went rudely tootily tootily too, with all of the winds at his side. Rudely tootily tootily too, the remarkable Farkle McBride. But at six, Farkle flung his flute into the lake, notwithstanding its lyrical trill. He stamped on the dock till you'd think it would break. That's it, he exclaimed. I've had all I can take. That tootling gives me a brutal headache. It's so wimpy and whiny and shrill. Those fish are like, what? When Farkle was seven, a different sound rekindled his musical flame. He became the most expert trombonist around, and the boulevards buzzed with his name. Trombones are a part of the brass family. He went vroom pity doom pity doom pity doom with all of the brass at his side. Vroom pity doom pity doom pity doom, the remarkable Farkle McBride. But at eight, he declared to his parents' despair, and everyone else might have guessed. I can't stand the trombone with its blat and its blare. That racket is more than my eardrums can bear. So return it or throw it away. I don't care. I despise it, just like all the rest. When Farco was nine, both his father and mum were bursting with pride and affection. For Farco learned a xylophone, cymbals, and drums, the entire percussionist section. He went boom, bash, clang em a clash, all the clamor he could provide. Tinkly, bing, bong, bumpity, crash, the remarkable Farco McBride. But soon he fell prey to his usual gloom, despite all the praise and the flattery. First a sigh, then a sulk, then a frown, then a fume, then an ear-splitting tantrum that emptied the room. I can't take it, he bellowed, the crash and the boom and the clang and the bang of the battery. Poor Farkle at ten, howsoever renowned, reached the end of his musical tether. But then he discovered his favorite sound, musicians all playing together. It happened like this, the conductor caught cold on the day of a major recital. You've got to replace him, young Farkle was told. Your cooperation is vital. So he took the baton and gave, he gave the downbeat and kaboom! The foundations were shaken. 
by glorious music, bombastic and sweet, that filled up the hall and spilled into the street, music that brought the whole crowd to its feet from the instruments he had forsaken. He went readily, rudely, vroom, petty, bang, bravo, the spectators cried, deedily, doodly, doom, petty, clang, the remarkable Farkle McBride. Since that sparkling night, Maestro Farkle McBride conductors conducts all the instruments he ever tried. His happy heart sings to brass drums, winds, and strings, and remarkable Farkles at last <gasps> satisfy. Awesome. So we had the strings. We had the woodwinds, the brass, and then finally the percussions. Um, I wore my thud shirt today. I am going to attach a video of a group from Harvard. And what they do is they uh, cover songs. So they make their own versions of songs, but with boom whackers, which is a percussion instrument because you hit them and they make noise. The first video that I'm going to share by them is one of my second graders favorites, uh, Old Town Road. So enjoy and I can't wait to see you next week.